Hi, this is kind of an informal, impromptu video that I decided to do for you. I am making some lasagna for my next week's meals, and I thought I'd kind of show you some different techniques that might help improve when you're making lasagna or manicotti or anything like that that's in the Italian realm. I'm making ricotta right now and I'm taking a couple of things of firm silken tofu and I'm going to mash these up with a potato masher to kind of give them that ricotta cheese like consistency kind of helps it make it like ricotta or like cottage cheese in a way or an Italian cottage cheese so now I've got that mashed kind of the way that I like. And then what I'll do to kind of give it kind of that tang is I'll squeeze some lemon in it. Kind of give that a mix. And then I'll add some fresh basil, some parsley and a good scoop of yeast flakes and that will give it that cheesy like flavor if you haven't discovered yeast flakes go out and buy yeast flakes now it is very nutritious got uh, vitamin B12 in it and it gives everything that that uh, nice cheesy flavor that uh, a lot of vegans miss. And it's a lot cheaper than buying the uh, vegan cheese products too, if you're on a budget. So there's my ricotta. And I've got pretty much everything else made. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the assembly line here. Like I said earlier, I was already in the middle of making this, so I don't really have a good ingredients and tools list for you. And really the ingredients list is going to be up to you, what you like in your lasagna, that kind of thing. You know, lasagnas are very flexible, you can pretty much do anything to them. Let me give you an idea of what I'm, what I'm doing for mine uh, today. I grilled up some eggplant, zucchini, and squash, and also some mushrooms as well, some portobellas and button and creminis. I grilled them up and I also took some yellow, red, and green bell peppers and I roasted them in the oven and then I peeled them and I sliced the mushrooms and the peppers and that's what this is. And I basically just took some, you know, all these roasted ingredients, I just lightly salted them, put some black pepper and some grains of, par grains of paradise on them, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You don't want to use the fancy, fancy stuff for this. Uh, just the regular store-bought is fine. This, the stems that were in the mushrooms, I made kind of like a mushroom sauce with some vegetable stock. And then with that mushroom sauce, I cooked some TVP and like quarter cup of Aniwa and cook that with some fresh basil, some parsley, oregano and black pepper and garlic and cook that down until I've got my vegan ground beef here. This is just some canned pasta that I added fresh basil and some chopped Roma tomatoes to kind of make it my own. I, I didn't really have time to make my own tomato gravy, but you can make your own. You can just use fresh. You don't have to fancy it up like I did, but it just kind of gives it kind of more of a fresh flavor than what you would normally find. And then here's my uh, vegan ricotta that I just showed you how to make. And then some mozzarella. These ha this happens to be um, day up. So that's basically the, the ingredients that I'm using for this. And one good technique that you should know 
is when you make your lasagna or any pasta dish or any dish really um, that you're going to bake in the oven, what you want to do to help keep it from sticking from the bottom of the pan is take a light layer of sauce, whether it be a tomato sauce or a Alfredo sauce or whatever you're doing, put that in the bottom of the pan. And what this will do is this will help keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. And as you can tell, in this particular lasagna, I'm not using pasta sheets. Most lasagnas do use pasta sheets. I'm just excluding it just uh, to kind of watch my carbs, trying to lose some weight. So you don't really even need pasta sheets. The roasted vegetables are going to act like that for, act like that for me in this particular dish. So I'm using eggplant and zucchini and squash as my pasta. And you also don't even have to grill your vegetables. You can just um, bake them in the oven or saute them or put them in raw. It doesn't really matter. And before you start assembling, you do want to turn your oven on at 350. That way it's nice and hot when it's uh, time to uh, put this in the oven. Now I'm going to bake this off. And I know this sounds odd, but trust me on this. This is a technique that we use in the restaurant business. Yeah, it's just about every Italian restaurant I worked in. Cover this with plastic wrap first. And this keeps the cheese from sticking to the aluminum. And now we'll wrap it with aluminum. Just because I'm that way, I like to put the shiny side down. And we'll bake this, again, preheated, 350 degree oven for 45 minutes to an hour. So once this is done, I'll be right back with you. It's the next day. I've cooked this lasagna at 350 for about an hour. I let it cool overnight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and slice it off. As you can see, the plastic wrap kept the cheese from sticking. And I'm going to take a spatula and use this to kind of mark my pieces here. This particular size pan, which is like a half sheet pan, or cake pan size is just about perfect for this size of spatula. So now that I've got them marked off, I'll go ahead and cut it. All right, I've got the lasagna cut. I'll go ahead and serve a piece. This is what my lasagna looks like after it's been baked. Yours is gonna look different depending upon what ingredients that you put in. I hope that you learned something from this tip and technique episode. 
Again, this was not really a recipe. It was just to show you some different tips and techniques for making lasagnas or casseroles or something like that. Uh, if you liked this tip and technique, please share it with your friends and family. We can be found on most of the major social media sites like Facebook and Twitter and Ello and Pinterest. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. You can find more on thefatveganchef.com. If you feel compelled to, please consider donating a dollar or two. You can find that information at tfvc.org forward slash donate. Again, thank you very much for watching this. This episode is dedicated to my sweet Belladonna. May you rest in peace. You're loved and missed.